Hey y'all, it's Jen for the Love of Iris. Thank you for joining me for another video. Today we're going to be starting a new series. Uh, we are going to call it Watercolor Week. And it's going to be one video for each day of the week. And it's going to be featuring a different watercolor technique. Today's project is this one. And it is going to be featuring the squishing technique. That's what I'm calling it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be called. But it's where you take a piece of transparency, any transparency will do. This is a piece of packaging from a stamp set or a piece of acetate or anything like that. Um, and I'm using markers and you color on the marker, scoosh it down on your paper and you get this beautiful effect. Um, you take three shades of the same color. Be careful if you're using other colors because mixing it can get muddy. Um, so I'm using blue today. I did one in green as well, and that's this one. Also be careful with using red because it can look a little bit bloody and we can't like to look like CSI. So let me show you what we're going to need. We need a piece of watercolor paper and I have already heat embossed my sentiment with white embossing powder. You could use clear, it's up to you. Um, and it is for by five and a quarter and I did that to save time because that is not my focus today the emboss resist we may do another video with emboss resist on it but I've already done that to save time so this again sorry four and a quarter no four by five and a quarter sorry watercolor paper four and a quarter by five and a half of Knight of Navy cardstock and a piece of four and a quarter by eleven thick whisper white scored at five and a half to create a card base okay and of course your acetate and your markers and a spritz bottle you just need it to be filled with water I have a um, just one of our misters filled with water if I can find it I've got a container of them and they all have different colors but I have one that is just filled with plain water if I can find it hmm I should have had this prepared. Be prepared. Here it is. Got it. Okay. So, first thing I'm going to do is take my embossed watercolor paper, and I'm going to start with my lightest color, which is going to be Bermuda Bay. And I'm going to take the, the um, wide tip part of the marker, and I'm going to color it on. I'm trying to get everything in here. Okay. Color on... The piece of acetate just like this can you see that probably not let me get this okay so I've colored on the piece of acetate just like that and then I'm going to just spritz it with water just a little bit away just to kind of wet it okay and then I'm going to bring in my piece of watercolor paper and I'm going to just kind of touch down here and squoosh my watercolor paper with my transparency. I can slide it if I want to and that will smear it. If I use my finger I can leave it that way and um, it will have those dots down there like that. Okay, if I want to add more color just take an inky rag, wipe off your transparency, okay, and then add more color. I think I'm good with that for right now because I can always go back. Then I'm gonna take my next color, which is Island Indigo, and I'm going to add marker to it. And the more water you add, the more liquidy and more transparent your color is going to be. And then I'm going to take this and lay down this color here. And again, I'm just trying to concentrate on the words. Okay, some up here and it's bending, so I'll lift it up here. Okay, I'm gonna take my inky rag and wipe off my transparency. And then I'm going to go in with my third color, which has rolled under my thing, <laughs> and it's Night of Navy, and ink that up. 
Again, spritz it with some water. And then I'm going to focus in on the places that I think need to make the words pop, like this right here. I can't read that, so I want that to be legible. So there we go. Now I can see that it says it's the. And then down here it needs some more. And I think I like this technique because you have a lot of control. On some of the other techniques, when you just ink up like a, a mat and you flip the paper over onto the mat, you have no control over where the color goes or how much color is on it. You just kind of are left to um, left to chance. This, you have a bit more control so you can place it wherever you like. Let me get some up here, like so. Okay, now I think I need a bit more of my, and if, if you have, what I'm doing now is I'm just dabbing off some of that color there to see where I stand. And I think I want a bit more Bermuda Bay because I think the Island Indigo has taken over. And I want some up here, I think. So let me throw some more Bermuda Bay on there. Spritz it. And throw some of that there and up there, maybe a little bit down here. There. Very nice. Now that looks to me like a beautiful snow scene. And then what I'll do is I'll heat up my heat tool because I'm, I'm too impatient to let it dry on its own. And... I will heat it and dry it and then adhere it to my Knight of Navy hard stock, add a few embellishments and it'll be all through. Very nice. And I am also going to well, clean off my desk here, but I'm going to rub off the embossing powder, the words too, so I get the blue off of that. And then I will adhere this with, I'm going to use Fuse because the cardstock is just a little bit warped. Here. To my Fuse, fuse to my Knight of Navy here. And then adhere this to my card base. Oop, out of fuse. Okay, we'll finish with snail. Okay. And here is our card base. Love it. And let's get some enamel dots. My enamel dots I keep stored in one of our small cases and I store them by color family. And sometimes they can get a bit confusing by colors just if you have them sit in there. So my tip is I write the color on the back of the actual enamel dots so when I flip them over or so when they're flipped over they're not too confusing like elegant eggplant and perfect plum they're both purple and they're they're pretty close so they're difficult to tell the difference so when I pull them out I know exactly which one is which so that's just a quick tip for you so let's throw some of these on here let's do stars on this one just three little stars and that'll finish off our card what do you think? I hope you enjoy it. I hope you try it out. It's a scooshing technique and um, I enjoy it. It's a way to get some controlled watercolor with some markers and you don't have to invest a whole bunch of money in a bunch of watercolor. I mean, some markers do the trick just easy as pie. So hope you have a great day. Hope you try it out and uh, talk to you soon. Bye.